Hello, everyone, and welcome to the MathDBase.com Anacast series. I'm your host, John Kisiedu. In this installment in the Developmental Mathematics series, I will discuss Ratios, Proportions, Rates, and Variations, Part 1, Ratios. A ratio is a relationship between two quantities of the same type that is expressed as a quotient of one quantity divided by the other. When a ratio is expressed as a fraction, the numerator is called the antecedent and the denominator the consequent. The colon symbol is used to indicate a ratio and is read 2. This symbol is an abbreviation of the division symbol. The ratio of 45 to 15 represents the fraction 45 over 15. Since ratios can be represented by fractions, they can be manipulated as fractions. The numerator and denominator can both be divided by 15 to give 45 over 15 equals 45 divided by 15 over 15 divided by 15, which simplifies to 3 over 1, or just 3. Since 45 to 15 is equal to the ratio 3 to 1, which is equal to 3, the ratio of 45 to 15 is equal to 3. How a ratio is stated can give it a completely different meaning. For example, if you have two cars and two sets of tires for each car, you have two cars and eight tires. The ratio of the number of cars to the number of sets of tires is 1 to 2, or 1 half. But the ratio of the number of sets of tires to the number of cars is 2 to 1, or 2. The ratio of the number of cars to the number of tires is 2 to 8, or 1 to 4 but the ratio of the number of tires to the number of cars is 8 to 2, or 4 to 1, which equals 4. To make it easier to compare two or more ratios, we write them so that their first terms, the antecedents, are the same. Let's compare the ratios 25 to 125 and 0.22 to 12. First, rewrite both ratios so that their first terms are 1. Dividing both terms by the first in each ratio, we have 25 to 125, which equals 25 over 125, we can divide top and bottom by 25 to get 25 divided by 25 over 125 divided by 25, which reduces to 1 over 5 with a ratio 1 to 5. The ratio 0.22 to 12 is equal to the ratio 22 over 100 to 12, rewriting 0.22 in fraction form. Now dividing both terms of the ratio by the first, we have 22 over 100 divided by 22 over 100 to 12 divided by 22 over 100 which simplifies to the ratio 1 to 600 over 11. Dividing 600 by 11, this ratio simplifies to 1 to the pure recurring decimal 54.545454 continuous, which can be written as 1 to 54 and 6 over 11. For a review of recurring decimals, see the decimal system series. So 25 to 125 is equal to the ratio 1 to 5, and the ratio 0.22 to 12 is equal to 1 to 54 and 6 over 11. Two like fractions, fractions with the same denominators, are in the ratio of their numerators. Let's have a look at an example. The ratio between 3 over 17 and 14 over 17 is 3 over 17 to 14 over 17, which we can rewrite as the complex fraction 3 over 17 over 14 over 17, which simplifies to 3 over 14. 3 over 14 is equal to the ratio of 3 to 14, the ratio of the numerators of the original fractions. If two fractions are unlike, divide the first by the second, or first convert them to equivalent like fractions using the LCD, in which case they will be in the ratio of their numerators. For example, the ratio between 2 over 5 and 7 over 12 is 2 over 5 to 7 over 12, which we can rewrite as the complex fraction 2 over 5 over 7 over 12, and that fraction reduces to 24 over 35, or the ratio of 24 to 35. To divide a number in a specific ratio, first form a fraction using the sum of the terms of the ratio as the denominator and the given number as the numerator, then multiply the quotient, the fraction, by both terms of the ratio. For example, let's divide 90 into the ratio 1 to 4. The sum of the terms is 1 plus 4, which equals 5, and the fraction is 90 over 5, which reduces to 18. Multiplying the quotient by the ratio terms, we get 18 times 1, or 18, and 18 times 4, which equals 72. So 90 divided into the ratio 1 to 4 is 18 to 72. Basically, we're dividing 90 by 5, the sum of the terms, to get 5 groups of size 18, so that 1 fifth of 90 is 18, and 4 fifths of 90 is 72. Notice that 18 plus 72 is equal to 90. 
Harry states in his will that he will leave $1,600,000 to his three sons in the ratio 4 to 7 to 9. How much will each son receive? The sum of the terms is 4 plus 7 plus 9, which equals 20. So $1,600,000 will be separated into 20 groups, each with $1,600,000 divided by 20, or $80,000 in it. The first son will receive $80,000 times 4, or $320,000, four twentieths of the amount. The second son will receive $80,000 times seven, or $560,000, seven twentieths of the amount. And the third son will receive $80,000 times nine, or $720,000, nine twentieths of the amount. $320,000 plus $560,000 plus $720,000 equals $1,600,000. So the $1.6 million in the ratio of four to seven to nine is $320,000 to $560,000 to $720,000. Divide $850 in the ratio one-half to one-third. Since half to one-third is equal to one-half over one-third, which equals three over two, dividing $850 in the ratio one-half to one-third is the same as dividing it into the ratio three to two. The sum of the terms is three plus two, or five, and $850 divided by 5 equals $170. $170 times 3 equals $510, and $170 times 2 equals $340. So $850 in the ratio of 1 half to 1 third is $510, 3 times the base amount of $170, to so $340, twice the base amount. An inverse ratio is the ratio in which the terms have been reversed. 2 to 3 is the inverse ratio of 3 to 2. A compound ratio is the product of two or more ratios. The compound ratio of 21 to 49 and 14 to 42 is 21 over 49 times 14 over 42, which reduces to 1 over 7, or 1 to 7. If the ratio between quantities is not given, assign the value of 1 to one of the quantities, then calculate the ratio or ratios of the others based on the information given in the specific problem. An IT company bought four computers and spent a total of $12,500. The first computer cost one and a half times as much as the second, the third cost two and a half times as much as the second, and the fourth cost two thirds as much as the second. How much did each computer cost? Since all of the costs are given in terms of the cost of the second computer, assign the value of one to the cost of the second. The cost of the first computer is related to that of the second as one and a half times one, or three halves. The cost of the third computer is related to that of the second as two and a half times one, or five halves, and the cost of the fourth computer is related to that of the second as two thirds times one, or two thirds. The costs of the four computers are related according to the ratio three halves to one to five halves to two thirds. And this is a problem of dividing $12,500 in that ratio. Adding the terms, the LCD is 6. 3 halves to 1 to 5 halves to 2 thirds is equal to 9 plus 6 plus 15 plus 4, or 34 over 6, which reduces to 17 over 3. The quotient is $12,500 divided by 17 over 3, which simplifies to $2,205.88 to the nearest penny, which is the base amount and the cost of the second computer. So the cost of the first computer is 3 over 2 times $2,205.88, or $3,308.82. The cost of the third computer is 5 over 2 times $2,205.88, or $5,514.70, and the fourth computer costs 2 thirds times $2,205.88, or $1,470.59.